Hi, everyone. So glad to be here today. I have a jelly plate, and I'm so excited. I've been practicing on it. It's uh, a real true kind of jelly plate, and so I'm just uh, using it to um, figure out what's what. There's that kind of blue, turquoise blue. I don't know. I don't know about some of these old, old paints. This one is Joanne's. This is the end of the line. I always think that, and then that, then there seems to be more. And when you get the jelly plate, you need to get the the roller. They call it a brayer um, to use for spreading out the paint. And I just. Uh, work at it until it's out to all all the edges you don't want to get too much paint and you don't want to press too hard see where this is happening I'm pressing too hard that's because I'm a newbie Must have been some kind of paint left over. And I'm just going to roll it off over here to the side. And then I'm just going to take some some little household objects and it helps if you go off to the side and clean them actually um, on the cat hand video she said go off to the side each time. So if I'm if I'm going off to the side each time, then I would need to stop myself, <laughs> which is hard for me to do like that, and stamp off to the side. Not stamping. These are just household objects. And I can't seem to stop myself after just once. So that's the way that goes. And one more. I have one more. A little one. Oops. This one. I don't know. I guess some people use the brayer on this part, but um, if I recall, this is the way she did it, and also Shannon Green. So I have been looking at 
uh, videos for jelly plating. And isn't that pretty? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put that over there. While you're jelly printing, it should be pretty. Acrylic paint, especially out here, dries pretty fast, so it should be pretty dry. Like you're not going to get a puddle of, you definitely should not get a puddle of paint anywhere. So, uh, before I tried the metallic and I wasn't very happy with it. I'm going to try it again here. Maybe I'll just put it with some silver. Maybe that'll make the difference. The metallic paint just has a different reaction to even the brayer, even spreading it. And I'm not, I'm just thinking that at least this brand of metallic that I have, which is folk art, it's not, um, it's not a good reaction maybe with See, this is already dry. Now for stamping, I'm getting pretty nice images over here to the side, and I'm just stamping off to the side every time. So some of the little uh, bird images came out, but the metallic blue um, puddled up for some reason on this. You can see the little bird images on this maybe, um, but this just doesn't turn out very well, um, to me anyway. So I'm just going to 
put some regular paint out here. And let's see if we can do a little bit different here. Oh, this is the one that's almost done. Let's see about this one. See, this is uh, this is Apple Barrel, which is you know kind of like folk art. Oops, that's too much. I'm getting too many. Okay, but it's not metallic, and the whole thing is it's because of the metallic paint. See that even spreads different. I got a little too much paint and I don't need to I don't need to stop and mop it up or do anything it'll just it'll just give me a few more prints I think is the way that goes So that darker blue metallic is still coming up, as you can see. It's still very wet. And so I'm going to use some deli paper. Oh, not deli paper. This is parchment paper. That's interesting. Very different. Very different from the coffee paper. There wasn't much left on that, but I'm glad to get, I'm glad to get those off, uh, the extra. And so now, I think I'll just try with the purple, or lavender, let's see, it's called Petunia Purple. Ooh.
So wherever there's a mark, that's going to show. And I think that I might have have gotten something on the sprayer that I didn't wipe off from when I first when I first started. When you use your free paper from the mailbox, you can always know that now to me that's really pretty. I'll get better at stamping off the images. Uh, let's see, that was the purple, so. I don't know. Let's let's see. I wonder if this red would work out. Some of this uh, paint is very very runny. I guess I should check and make sure that the, the video is still running. See, I don't know what that is coming off there. It's kind of like a bit a little bit in peace. Okay, let's see here. I forgot. I forgot to stamp off on this one. <sighs> so it comes off plain with no images on it. Yeah. Like that. Let's see if my video is still running.
maybe I'll, I'll um, stop it and see if I can.